There are a lot of very complex formulas we can use that involve reciprocals and so on for finding out uh, resistance in a DC parallel circuit. But I want to show you the simplest way of doing it. And this is in a circuit that has different sized resistors in parallel, but it only has two of them. If we're only dealing with two of them, there's a very simple formula. And it's referred to as product over sum, or another way of looking at that would be A times B divided by A plus B. So we'll go through, keeping that in mind, and uh, run the numbers here and see how it works out. As soon as we see a, a circuit puzzle like this, uh, we should immediately look for all the different parts. Well, we've got the, uh, the source voltage, 30 volts. We've got R1, which is 3 ohms, the size of that resistor. R2, 6 ohms, the size of that resistor. The one thing we're missing is any mention of current or amps. So let's go ahead and solve for amps. What we're basically doing is putting as much information on this uh, diagram as we can, and that should allow us uh, to solve any other questions that come up. First thing we remember is that the voltage is the same everywhere uh, throughout the circuit, in a parallel circuit. So if we want to solve for the current at R1, we would do that simply by using the formula and if we're going to solve for current so we know that the voltage is 30 if we're doing R1 and the resistance is 3, so the amperage there would be 10 amps. I'm going to write that down right here. Okay. Now we can do the same thing over here. We are going to take the voltage, which is 30, and we're going to divide it by the amperage, which is 6, and that's going to give you 5. So here we're going to have 5 amps. So we have 10 amps at R1, 5 amps at R2. Now, if you remember back, what is going to be the amperage at the battery? Well, we know that coming out from here, and returning again, don't forget it's parallel circuit, is 10 amps. Coming out from here and going all the way over here, is 5 amps. So since amps don't appear or disappear, we know that the amperage of the entire circuit is 10 amps plus 5 amps, or 15 amps. So let's go ahead and clean things up a little bit. We've got enough information. We've got 30 volts at the battery, 15 amps, 10 amps, and 3 ohms at R1, 5 amps, and 6 ohms at R2. So let's figure out what the equivalent resistance is. For this entire circuit. So if we use our tested formula and we want to figure out what the total resistance is or the equivalent resistance of the circuit, we are going to do E equals I times R and R equals E divided by I. 
So if we plug those numbers in, we have E, which is 30, divided by I, which is the current, which is 15. And that's going to give you 2 for the equivalent resistance, and that's going to be in ohms. So what we're looking for is a formula where we can do this pretty quickly and the formula is the product over sum. So let's give that a try. So let's take the product which is going to be the product of the first resistor times the second resistor. So that's going to be 3 ohms times 6 ohms. That's going to equal 18 ohms, right? over the sum. Okay, what's the sum? Well, we have 3 plus 6 equals 9. Okay, if we put the product over the sum, 18 over 9, we come up with 2 ohms, which, strangely enough, matches exactly what we have over here. Okay, so to figure out very simply, if you have two resistors of different sizes in a circuit, you can take the, the equivalent of those two resistors is the product of their resistance divided by the sum of their resistance. Kind of a neat formula. You should really memorize that phrase, product over sum. Or maybe you like to think of it visually. But product over sum is what you can use to figure out the equivalent resistance of two resistors. And I'll show you how you can do it with more than two resistors in the next video. Thanks for watching.